My name is Tamara Clouser, and I'm the yoga facilitator at Adler Therme in Bagno Vignoni. Today I'm going to show you two different versions of the moon salutation. This salutation is designed to soothe you and help you relax, cool off your body and reconnect to yourself. Let's start by decelerating with Chandra Namastar. Remember, if you're a beginner, you can bend your legs, ground your feet, aligning them to your hips, hands joined in front of your heart as if in prayer. If you're acquainted with Ujjayi breathing, you can do that as well. Otherwise, just extend your breath with your abdomen activated. Breathe in, stretch upwards. As you breathe out, bend forward, placing your hands on your legs at any height or all the way down to the mat. You can bend your knees a bit if you need to. Breathe in, stretch forward, creating space. And as you breathe out, push your right foot backwards and rest your right knee on the ground, lifting your torso. Breathing in, join your hands and stretch them upwards. You can arch your back as you do so. Breathe out, dropping your hands to the ground. Take a step backwards. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out, drawing your abdomen in. Breathe in, align your shoulders and wrists. And on exhaling, go down with your knees, chest and chin to the ground. On inhaling, straighten up your arms. If you feel tension or pain in your back, bend your elbows. On your next exhale, press down well with your feet and lift up your pelvis, keeping your hands spread out as wide as your shoulders. Relax your neck and keep your feet as wide apart as your hips. Don't worry if you can't keep your heels to the ground, it's okay. Keep in mind that you can also bend your knees if it helps. Breathing in, lift your right foot up high. And on exhaling, bring your right foot forward between your hands, resting your left knee to the ground. On your next inhale, stretch upwards, looking up. Breathe out, hands back on the ground. Step forward, bringing your left foot between your hands. As you breathe in, stretch forward either keeping your hands to the ground or placing them on your legs. Breathe out, bring your abdomen back towards your thighs, bending your knees if you need to. Breathing in, roll it up and join your hands in prayer. Breathe out, hands in front of your heart. This was our first moon salutation, where we took a step back and then forward with our right leg. This time we're going to do it all over again, stepping back and forward with our left leg instead. So again, hands joined in front of your heart. Breathe in, stretch upwards. Breathing out, fold towards your thighs, abdomen drawn in. Breathe in, stretch forward. And on breathing out, push your left foot backwards and rest your knee to the ground. Breathe in, stretch upwards. Breathe out, hands to the ground, right foot backwards. Move into the downward facing dog pose. Relax your neck, breathe in. Breathe out, feeling your abdomen drawn in. On your next inhale, align your shoulders to your wrists, abdomen drawn in. Breathe out knees, chest and chin to the ground. Breathe in, 
rise into the cobra pose, keeping your arms either bent or extended. And on breathing out, point your feet and lift your hips. Remember to keep your hands as wide apart as your shoulders and your feet as wide apart as your hips. On breathing in, lift your left foot up high. And on breathing out, bring your foot forward between your hands, lowering your right knee to the ground and lifting your torso. Breathe in, opening up through the heart and throat. On exhaling, hands down and right foot to the front. Breathing in, stretch forward. On breathing out, fold your chest towards your knees. Breathe in, roll it up, hands joined as if in prayer. Breathe out, hands in front of your heart. Now let's see another variation of our moon salutation, which will have you working on the mat first, to the left, then to the right. It's important that you listen to your body and only go as far as it is ready to go. Breathe deeply, find your grounding through your feet keeping them as wide apart as your hips. Join your hands in front of your sternum as if in prayer. As you breathe in, stretch upwards. And on breathing out, bend sideways to the left. Breathe in, moving back to a straight position. And on breathing out, bend sideways to the right. Breathe in, back to centre. Breathe out and lift your left knee. Breathe in, take a big step sideways to the left, and on breathing out, bend your knees and elbows. Join your index fingers and thumbs. Point your coccyx groundward, engaging your buttocks and legs and drawing your abdomen in. On inhaling, straighten your legs, arms parallel to the mat, rotate your left foot with your toes facing left, while keeping your right foot at a 90 degree angle. On breathing in, stretch sideways to the left, and on breathing out, place your left hand below your knee while lifting your right arm up high. Look up towards the sky. On breathing out, bring both hands to your left in step and fold towards your knee. It's important that you only fold as far as your body allows. Don't push it. If you only reach up to a certain point, it's perfectly okay. Breathe in, press down with your hands on the mat and stretch forward. On exhaling, right knee down to the ground. Breathing in, stretch upwards looking up. And on exhaling, drop your hands back down. Now turn to your right, keeping your right leg straight. If you need to, you can draw your foot closer. If you can't keep your left heel down, it's okay. You can keep it up. Rest your left elbow against the inside of your left leg and join your hands. Take deep breaths, drawing out your breath. On breathing out, drop your hands to the ground and on breathing in, lift your pelvis and shift your weight sideways to your right and hold your position.
Breathing out, put your hands down and turn to your right, lowering your left knee to the ground. Breathe in, stretch upwards. And on, breathing out, hands back down. On, inhaling, lift up your pelvis and fold towards your right leg. On your next inhale, lift your torso slightly and place your right hand just below your right knee. Rotate the toes of your left foot to the left and stretch your left arm upwards. When you've found your stability, gaze towards your left hand. On your next inhale, roll it up Arms parallel to the ground and heels aligned. Toes facing out. Breathing out. Bend your knees and elbows. Join your index fingers and thumbs. Breathing in, straighten your legs. Stretch your arms upwards. Breathe out and draw your feet back closer together, shifting your weight to the left. Breathe in, drawing in your abdomen. On exhaling, bend to the right. Breathe in, back to centre. Breathe out, bend to the left. Breathing in, stretch upwards and on. Breathing out, place your hands in front of your heart. What you've now done on the left side of the mat is the half moon pose. We'll now do a half moon moving towards the right side of the mat. Find your grounding through your feet, keeping your abdomen drawn in. Breathe in, stretch upwards. On breathing out, bend to the right. Breathe in, back to centre. Breathe out, bend to the left. Breathe in, back to centre. On breathing out, lift your right knee, finding your stability. Breathing in, take a big step sideways to the right. And on breathing out, bend your knees and elbows, feeling the weight press against your heels. Keep your spine straight without tilting your torso forward. Keep your back in an upright position. On breathing in, straighten your legs. Position your hands parallel to the mat, heels aligned. Breathing in, bend sideways to the right and on breathing out, place your right hand below your right knee, stretching your left hand upwards. If you are comfortable with this pose, feel free to stretch a bit further down. Breathing out, place both hands on the instep of your right foot. Square your hips and fold towards your right leg. Remember, listen to your body. Inhaling, stretch forward. And on exhaling, left knee down to the ground. Breathe in, stretch upwards, opening up through your heart and throat. And on exhaling, drop your hands back to the ground. Now turn to your left. If you need to, draw your left heel back closer. Rest your right elbow against the inside of the knee to open up your hip to the right. Contract your abdomen and pelvic floor. Continue breathing normally. On exhaling, hands to the ground and on inhaling, lift up your pelvis and shift your weight into position to the other side. Again, you can keep your hands down, 
but you can also join them in prayer if you feel stable enough in your position. Feel your right leg perfectly straight. On breathing out, hands to the ground and on breathing in, turn to the left, resting your right knee on the ground. On your next inhale, stretch upwards and breathing out, let your hands back down. On inhaling, straighten your legs and fold towards your left leg. On your next inhale, stretch forward a bit, drawing your right foot closer, if you need to. Place your left hand under your left knee and stretch your right arm upwards, aligning your wrist to your shoulder. Try not to collapse over your left shoulder by pushing with your hand under your knee. Keep it open. Breathe in, roll it up, and on breathing out, align your heels, toes facing outwards. Bend your knees and elbows, join the tips of the index fingers and thumbs. Feel your shoulder blades draw closer to each other, and your weight pressing down on your heels. Point your coccyx down. On inhaling, stretch upwards. And on exhaling, draw your left foot up close to the right one. Abdomen drawn in, exhale and stretch upwards. On exhaling, bend to the left with your torso. Inhale back to centre. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale back to centre. Exhale, lower your hands in front of your heart. And we've now completed our full moon sequence 